All right, we are Madrid to 15 kilometers an hour. The focus of our workshop could be put simply as pimp your bike, pimp your microeconomy. What we were interested in is reconsidering the way that urban mobility can be improved to improve cycling conditions. We looked at two different spaces. One is the green ring, which is approximately 40 kilometers around the exterior of Madrid. And then alternatively, we looked at the interior portion of the city. We came up with a variety of different solutions based on three different sections, the body, the bike, and the city as a location for the interventions that we designed. They range from movement through aerodynamics and other concepts. What we're concerned with is the microeconomy and why? We believe that the microeconomy could have a positive impact on the people in a space by addressing their needs instead of falsely addressing things that we believe that they need. So we'll begin the presentation of five projects here. Okay, this project is three hat three because this helmet uh, brings shadows and helpful to purif purify polluted air in the urban areas of Madrid. Uh, the concept is a tree, so it's like, a, uh, as, it, as he says, purifies air. And also, you can see this uh, scratch. It has uh, curtain air on your face, so it protects you from polluted air. Then uh, on your head, it uh, enters air, uh, polluted air, and it, it goes out uh, purified. And also, it has a projector uh, in, on your back, be, uh, with the sun, it will project whatever you want. It, it could have any design that you want. Uh, this could have a great impact on your health and also on your mood because you're going to be healthy. It protects you, uh, protects your head because it's a helmet and also protects your lungs. Uh, it has changeable filters. Uh, of course, uh, the filter can be changed because uh, it's going to be dirty, Th then you can, uh, it would uh, be a microeconomy because you can sell this. Also, it has projectile tails. Um, you can change the, this, it could be art shadows, so it could have any design you want, or like this, or maybe you can put there your uh, publicity, maybe your brand. Uh, the shape, uh, ab talking about the design, the shape chan uh, channels the air. So it has a design that accelerates air, so then it goes through and it goes purified. Uh, it has an air curtain on your face, so it protects you. Uh, and it has a communication area. Uh, it could be art shadow or advertising. advertising. Okay, uh, next project is uh, Echo Shadows. Uh, Echo Shadow will protect uh, bikers from the sun and help them relax. <coughs> also, Echo Shadow will clean air pollution because uh, we are using plants to create shadow and in this table are uh, some different plant uh, species, climber, climbers. Uh, and for tourists, uh, most important or most in interesting one is um, this one because uh, of her name, uh, Spanish flag. Uh, uh, this plant has uh, flowers with uh, yellow and uh, red. So uh, we will uh, sell and promote uh, Spanish cut flowers and my design is that one. <laughs> behind the board. Uh, so the next project is the Genius Bike, which um, uh, basically it starts measuring the distance in seconds and taking advantage of the movement it performs. So be basically a bike uh, produces mobility and we want to take advantage of this uh, mobility to generate uh, energy through its speed. Yeah, so this is the main um, tool that uh, does that uh, activity. 
So energy generated with the capacity, it has the capacity to charge any electric appliance, including your cell phone, which is one of the most widely used um, tools uh, in this modern age. So it's not, it not only generates energy, it is also comfortable and, stable, and a stable design, which allows you to even sleep if you manage to do that while you're biking, which this tool um, primarily wants to uh, promote. So in, uh, in every generator, you can sell it to people who would require it. So that's the microeconomy of this um, project. So yeah, selling the energy produced by the movement uh, produces this um, small business that um, you can generate. So it has comfortable ergonomy to sleep in. All right, this next project is titled ART, which is short for Augmented Reality Tourism. And our location was on the green ring of Madrid. We became really interested in how we could connect people together, both tourists and natives. Um, so we were curious about how we could impact the view and experience of people who were riding along the green ring. Um, and furthermore, we were interested in how we can improve the experience of play during the biking experience. Um, and so what we wanted to do was incorporate everybody into one large game. So as we started to think further about this topic, we, be we believed that we could create a microeconomy that focused on tourism as a way of creating more information rather than just having people walk around the city. Um, the goal, of course, was to have a shared biking experience that incorporated tourists and um, natives alike. So the way we propose to do this is to generate a system that is going to have a video feed and it's going to put the person into a third, point, third person point of view, which would be similar to playing a video game. So in reality, what you're doing as you're riding is experiencing the riding experience from a third person point of view. And what we did was we designed a complete bike interface from a helmet to a safety system and also the kite system. So primarily, we have a helmet that is going to alter your experience of the city. And this is one way we propose to do it. You can see we show speed, um, adjacent people, adjacent structures, and a description that would give you more information as you move through the city, but also potentially guide you through the city. Um, the way we would support that camera system is to have kites that would detach from your back as you increased in speed. So for example, at 10 kilometers an hour, they would remove from the pack and then they would extend. As you slowed down, they would retract back into the pack. Here you can see how, what we propose. Uh, moving on, another important part is that this is not only for play, it's also for protection. So we protect the neck and the spine as well as the shoulders. Finally, we designed it to be aerodynamic so that when you're riding, not only are you gonna look awesome, but you're gonna have a great time doing it as well. Um, and so the last project is called H2O Madrid. Uh, we um, <laughs> realize that the biking in Madrid is a really rough experience, and we focus um, on the fact that you are not able to have uh, free and clean water when you're driving a bike. So we are proposing a system when the bike is a support of a new development for the city where you can uh, have uh, drinkable water and showers um, through a new economical and, uh, system. So what we do is that we are collecting the water which is into the fog, um, thanks to first um, this, uh, this system, which when you ride a bike, you are catching the fog. So you ride a bike and you're creating your own water that you are will be able to drink and to share to the citizen of Madrid. So this works uh, thanks to this uh, surface which has been perforated and uh, it becomes a porous surfaces, which can catch the, catch the micro drops of water. And uh, this water is stored into a water tank, which is fixed into the bike, as you can see here. And uh, the goal is to reach 20 liters per day uh, <laughs> per person, uh, thanks to the system. Thank you. Thank you.